Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today we are doing a viewer request submission idea kind of thing. Um, it is a full face of makeup that I hate. Now, I will say that I feel like a lot of these you already know that I hate because I've talked about them in other videos. And also, I tend to get rid of the things right away that I just really can't stand. So I went through what I have left um, and pulled out the things that I know I just don't like um, or I don't like the idea of for some of them. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'll just kind of like run through my thoughts on them a little bit and then kind of speed up the applying because this isn't going to be no like great tutorial or anything. So also before we get started, here is a skin update. Um, the last video that you saw or one of, the, I don't know my upload schedule right now, but um, my get ready with me vacation vlog kind of thing, that was filmed a month ago. So whenever I told you what my skin looked like then, it's now been a whole month after that. And um, this is what my skin looks like. It is 100% smooth. There is not one single blemish that remains. All of these are just spots that I need to, um, you know, lighten or whatever um, to kind of get my skin looking good. But um, I mean, this is the worst of them. This was Stan. Was it Stan? I think this was Carl and this was Stan. But anyway, we're going to go into the primer. There's a lot of primers that I really, really don't like, but they also broke me out. So of the ones that I have that broke me out, I'm not going to put them on my skin again. Um, and I do want to give you an update on that um, Revlon pore minimizing one that I did in the fail makeup video. It did end up breaking me out um, once I took my makeup off at the end of the day. Um, I did have like tiny little pin prick um, little whiteheads. Like I always get with a pore filling primer. If they're going to break me out, that's what they cause. So would not recommend that one if you are breakout prone. So the one that I'm going to go in with is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Primer. Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. Whatever, girl. Whatever. I don't like this. I feel like, I don't know, man. I keep saying this, but even though I have oily skin, Oh, it feels nice though. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't like the look of a matte finish on my skin lately because I do have like the texture issues and stuff like that. And I feel like a matte finish is just really not doing me any favors. And I will say that this does work. So if you have oily skin that is smooth um, and it doesn't have any like texture or pore issues, then, you know, you might really like it, but uh, for mine, it just does not, it does not work um, in the way that I would like it to. <laughs> the next thing is a repeat from the fail makeup video because it was legitimately the worst foundation I have ever tried, ever in my life. It is the Revolution Makeup Revolution. Um, where is the thing? Fast Base Stick Foundation. I have mine in F4. This was just literal and actual shit. Okay, it was just really, really bad. Just abominable. <clears throat> the color is definitely too light for me, but if it would have turned out good, I would have bought my actual color, but this, oh my God, it just, no. It is so not for oily skin. It's just not. It looks greasy and nasty and it just, oh, it doesn't set well, OMG. And it is 100% not full coverage, at least on my skin, because I have to build and build and then you can still see every little thing through it. Like, look at that. I, I have two layers on here right now. <laughs> and you can still see, like, this redness right here. Like, whoa. Can't stand it. Can't stand it. Oh, my God. Let me, ooh, let me get you in a little bit closer. Look at this. Holy crap on a crapper. Why? Ooh, why, why, why? 
Look at that. It's just not good. That's not good at all. Look, I did that whole thing in that video. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on this, but this is just, oh, it's so bad. Okay, um, moving on to concealer. No surprise here. I've mentioned this before. Um, I don't like the Revolution Conceal and Define, and I don't like the Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> so since I used that one in that video, um, we'll go in with the Shape Tape here in this video. I just, I feel like for me, it, it's not full coverage because my dark circles are just, they're really bad. And I just don't like the way that it sits under my eyes. It creases on me. <sighs> it doesn't matter if I use a lot or a little. It just, it's not for me, you know? And if any of these products are your absolute favorite, go ahead, girl. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not knocking you liking them, but they are definitely not the products for me. Oh, God. Even as I blend this out, I'm just like, oh. Like, it almost makes my under eyes look purple or something, like purpley gray. Like, ugh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, this is just not, not the product for me. Does it creep anybody else out whenever you're, like, pouncing in your concealer and you hear, like, the squishiness in your eye? <laughs> it sounds like it's in stereo because it's, like, inside your body. Oh, my God, it's so weird. We were supposed to go see um the new Halloween movie tonight, but... <laughs> Hubs has been up all day and he was taking a nap and whenever I told him it was time to get up, he's like, oh, blah, blah. and I was like, okay, that, that, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> that means we're not going, which is fine with me. It's cold outside. I'm not really like feeling, you know, going outside and doing a bunch of stuff. So that's a-okay with me. Even as a spot concealer, I don't love this. Like, what did that just conceal? Not a damn thing, that's what. Whatever, these dark circles are just living their life and Shape Tape is just gonna let it happen. So the powder that I absolutely hate, I've mentioned this before, the CoverGirl Clean Matte. Um, poof, it made my face a nasty, oily mess. It was, I don't wanna use that brush. It just did not look good and it did not keep me matte. And since I don't have like an under eye powder that I hate, um, I'm just gonna set my under eyes with this real quick. Also, in addition to my face. Oh, like look at what that concealer looks like under my eyes. I just don't like that. Oh, wow, look at how red my eye is, Jesus. <laughs> All right, so let's pop this all over. Because honestly, that fast base stick thing has to be set all over. Um, even though I'd prefer not to do that nowadays, it has to be set all over because you can't blend anything over top of it because on my skin, it just stays tacky. Even now with some powder on it. Mm -mm. Okay, so a contour that... What's my time looking like? A contour that I don't like. This is technically a bronzer, but I feel like the shade is a little bit more like a contour. It is the Revolution um, Bronze and Glow Chocolate Bar Bronzer. I'm going to use this one. It is somewhat similar to the Kevin Aquan, um, you know, contour sculpting powder that I like, but it's just... Look at how powdery it is. Like, look at that. I just dipped it in a little bit and it's so powdery. I don't know. I just, I don't love it. And I don't feel like it has as much pigment that actually comes off. Yeah. Like, whenever I put on the sculpting powder, it just is immediate, you know? This, no, that looks patchy. And it's almost like, it, it's only showing up right here, but not anywhere else. I don't like it. It's no, just not good. Not any good for me. Um, oh, I hair up my nose. So a bronzer that I don't like is the Hula bronzer from Benefit, which everybody and their mother and their dog loves, but I just don't. I feel like it looks 
so orangey on me. Like, I don't know if it's just my skin chemistry or what, but I just, I, oh God, no. Do you, do you see that? This does not happen with my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze or even, um, what's that other one that I've been using? The Nars Laguna. It just, like all that powder just got right here whenever I went like this with my brush. Indeed, this is a full face of absolute crap on me. I don't like her. I don't have an eye primer that I hate because I only have two. Actually, no, I got rid of my Milani one too, I think. So I only have my Ulta Nude Matte. That's the one that I use. That's it. But I do have this Laura Mercier Eye Basics um, that people say they use as an eye primer. And I just don't like the idea of stuff like this. I feel like um, the MAC Paint Pot, you know, any sort of eye base that's kind of like tinted like this to be like a color it just never works out on me because my lids are so oily and this even feeling it right now it's just way too like creamy and emollient like anything that I put on top of this is going to end up creasing if I were to leave this makeup on all day so I just I don't like it you know everyone else I really love stuff like this, but I just, I can't use it. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm going in with is the CoverGirl True Naked Peach Punch. I used this in a video and I didn't like it just because the pigmentation is just not there. You know, I just, mm, I don't feel like it was, let me dip into that again just to show you. Look at this, this last shade. Look at how much like, kick up there is there you see that just from dipping in a little bit like it's it's a ten dollar palette that performs very much like a ten dollar palette however with the quality of some of the drugstore stuff lately i would kind of expect a ten dollar palette to be better than this one and it's just kind of patchy like, oh, and I mean, 100% part of that is going to be the base that I'm using because I don't like the base either, but it's just, it's not the most pleasant thing to work with in the world. And honestly, if I'm going to spend $10, I would wait for like a BH Cosmetics palette to go on sale and spend like 12 on that, you know? Cause that's just so much better. You guys tell me, is there any drugstore palettes like Maybelline, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, um, you know, of those that you really like love? Whoops. Is there anything like that that's just really amazing that you really think is great? Let me know because I mean, if it's good, I'd like to try it. I kind of feel like I would like to try the Milani ones, but did I? Yeah, I, I put more on one than the other, but, um, I just, I don't know if I really need them <laughs> and I've been acquiring so many palettes lately that it's just a little much. Every single shadow that I tap into just so much freaking powder. God. And like that one, that purple shade nothing's happening nothing and it is a gorgeous gorgeous shade in the pan but on the lid like you really gotta pack that on Ugh. but to blend it in it just kind of like what's going on there you know yep that's crap it is complete crap and i think whenever i did this video before I think I, well, not this video, but whenever I showed this palette in a video before, I think I might have even used this shade like with my finger just to get the pigment to go onto my lid. That's just a nasty, muddy mess. Nope. Um, let's make it even better <laughs> by putting, I mean, and also 
where's the shimmers you know like mm, there's just not a great selection in this palette just not it's not it's not with it and look at that like did I just put a shimmer on my lid or did I not because it isn't looking like I did mm. that looks lovely <laughs> Yeah, that's crap. Well, <laughs> and that's also pretty much the lightest shimmer in this whole palette. So there's really not even like a, a good like inner corner highlight that you could use. So I'm going to try this super freaking like dusty pink highlight color and pretty much all that just came off. Yeah, there's like nothing on there. It looks like I had pink eye. <laughs> Great. I'm just, okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna take the other one and just go right over the top of it. That looks like utter crap. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not digging that at all. So let me just take this shade and just run it under here and be done with it. Whatever. I feel like I look sick. I look sick. <laughs> um, so I don't have, uh, well, here's the thing. I don't typically wear eyeliner a whole lot anyway. And the ones that I have, I like, um, but I did get this one in my boxy charm for, um, October. And it's one of those pizza wheel ones, wheel, <laughs> pizza cutter ones. Um, so I'm going to put this on because <laughs> even though I've never used it, I just feel like I won't actually like the experience of using this little guy. And it looks, oh God, it looks so, oh, it looks so like liquidy and drainy. Gross. Let's see. Oh, good Lord. The fallout, man. The fallout. Holy crap. Oh my god, this foundation looks so bad. Okay, all right, enough messing around. Oh lord. <laughs> oh my god, it's so liquidy. Oh, wow. I look like hatchet face. Oh, my God. I'm going to ruin it if I laugh. Oh, it's already ruined. Uh, oh, my. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, wow. Oh, my God. This is really sh Oh no! <laughs> oh no! What have I done? are gonna start watering um so we're going for an avant-garde look now I get to replicate it on the other side 
<laughs> okay. Okay, well, number freaking one, this isn't very black. And it's also, oh, extremely shiny. It's like lacquer. <laughs> oh, wow. We're just going to go with it, man. This is legitimately bad. Why did I just do I was, see, I was, I was trying to make it look like two little lines over here. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm, wow. Woo. Send help, please. Moving right along. Um, let's do, let's do the highlighter. God. Wow. Okay, so uh, the Milani Afterglow in strobe light, I don't like because it's, it's very glittery and it just, um, it, it falls down my cheeks throughout the day. So I just really feel like it's an, it's an unflattering look. On, wow on me um it's also very intense which I don't like it's it's just not my thing good god it's just so chunky glittery no no this is not treating me right My God, that liner. That, ow. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I don't use those pizza cutter <laughs> liners because they are a disaster waiting to happen. Wow. We're just not gonna talk about it. We're not, we're not gonna talk about it. Um. The blush, here's the thing, I like all the blushes that I have. However, I do have a couple of these palettes. And so I picked the most, well, what I thought would be the most unflattering blush color from the two palettes that I have. So we're gonna use Primrose, which is this very like shimmery pink with blue purple shift um <laughs> blush and let's just see what it looks like because i think it's gonna look terrible i can't stop looking at that liner <laughs> that is a true gem i tell you oh holy clowns batman Ooh, okay. You know what? Um, had I had a better foundation and powder on, I probably could have made this look half decent. <clears throat> but with this foundation and powder, like, oh, it's just like clinging in like one stripe. But... Um, but you know what? The actual color is pretty wearable, which I'm kind of surprised by. Why did I just do that? Oh, wow. Moving right along. <laughs> Moving right along. Um, what do I have next? I've used... All of that. Let's go in with brows. I will say that there is another brow product that I don't like. 
um, and that I probably don't like even more than this one. However, it is going to be featured in an, in an upcoming video. I'm doing a full face of Amazon Choice products and a full face of Amazon or Walmart bestseller products. And the brow product, the other one, is in one of those two videos. So I want to kind of keep it a surprise as to what I feel about it, which I guess I kind of gave it away. But regardless, <laughs> we'll save that for that video. But this one is also one that I just really don't like. Um, it is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Designer. Um, I bought it on accident thinking that I was buying the Definer, which I do like. But the Designer is like an actual like pencil. And it's just kind of like um, kind of hard to work with. It's like not very creamy. So... I just don't love it for that. Like, I feel like I have to push really hard to get it to show up in my brows. Compared to the other one, I mean, the other one is just so much better. <clears throat> I mean, it's not terrible by any means, but, you know, why work harder when you can work smarter, right? Plus, I hate the idea of, like, sharpening that thing every single time. Um, and then I have a brow gel that I don't like, which is the um, Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I just, I, I'm just really not into clear brow gels. I really like my tinted ones with fiber so that it actually, like, you know, plumps up your brows. Plus, tell me, is it just me? Because I feel like whenever you use a clear brow gel... Um, after like, let's say five, 10 uses or so, I feel like once you start pulling it out, it starts becoming like kind of milky instead of clear. And I think it's because like, you know, the product and your skin cells and stuff like mixing in with it. And it always just turns like kind of gross, you know? So I, I don't like that about clear brow gels. It's happened with me to every single clear brow gel that I've ever tried. So even if I like how they work, um, I pretty much have to throw them out after like two weeks and buy a new one because they just get kind of gross. <clears throat> um, I'm going to set my face now and then do uh, lips and mascara. So the setting spray is another one that I've said I don't like before. The Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray, the Mate to the primer. It's just really unflattering on my skin um, because it's almost too mattifying for my taste now. Um, and the pump on this gets clogged up and it stops pumping like it should. Um, <laughs> chic. Um, it stops pumping like it should and you have to like pull it up every single time. So I just don't love that. So there's that. I, I would just prefer a little bit more of a, um, you know, natural looking setting spray now. So let me go in with um, the mascara, which is, well, I, you guys know I have a lot of mascaras that I don't particularly love. Some of them I really hate, but all of the mascaras that I have open right now that I actually use, I really like. So I had to go back through the ones that I've reviewed semi-recently and choose one that wasn't too <laughs> far gone. So I did review this one a while back, <laughs> probably longer than I should still be using it, but it doesn't smell and it doesn't look like it's changed in formula. So we're going to put it on just for right now for the next like 15 minutes. <laughs> and it is the CoverGirl Flourish Mascara. Um, I just feel like it was... It wasn't that great. It didn't give me a whole lot of much of anything. So there's that. Um, it's just, it's not phenomenal. And, um, you know, this blush, it's growing on me actually. I mean, the application, not great, but the color, I actually kind of like. I do recommend those Ulta blush palettes. I think they're really good um, in general. So the lipstick that I don't love is actually another one that was in my BoxyCharm for October, and it is the Hank and Henry. Never heard of the brand. 
um, matte liquid lipstick and petal pusher. Let me take off my lip mask and we'll put this on. My problem with this is that it was so streaky and it's also one of those matte liquid lipsticks that makes your lips feel like they're going to fall off and die. It does smell really good though. It smells like fresh buttercream icing, like from a carrot cake. From a really good carrot cake. Whew. Okay. Also, the color is just not particularly me. I feel like the applicator also, look at that, it, it makes it very messy. Because it's it's kind of way too fuzzy on the outsides and um, all of the product is concentrated just on the tip and not actually on the outsides of the thing. Mm. Yep. I don't like that at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you have it. Here is my full face of makeup that I hate. Um, and I think that it turned out phenomenal, actually. I think this is definitely a look that I would wear out, um, especially if I was going to, you know, my death or something, um, you know, this is, this is the look that you should be going for. Um, it's pretty great. I feel like <sighs> definitely going to be on the cover of Vogue next week because of this. It is hot. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you peed your pants laughing because I almost did whenever this majestic stuff happened that was the real gem of the video i feel like and i feel like i'm gonna have to wear some depends whenever i edit this <laughs> because i crack myself up so hard and you know what let me just go on a tangent i don't understand why people get so annoyed <laughs> at people that laugh at themselves um so much you know the, oh you think you're so funny well, actually i do i think i'm freaking hilarious <laughs> I don't get it. Like, I think everybody is just so uptight. Um, so yeah, good. What? Like, it looks like my inner eyes are like caving in. Such a good look. I am like, I'm so proud of this. It's, it's amazing. Let's just pull you in really close and see how phenomenal my skin looks. Wow. Whew. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. No, ma'am. No. <laughs> wow, it looks like I have a rash on my cheeks. Look at that liner, though. Hot fire. Ooh, girl. Look at that stray brow hair. I haven't plucked my brows in days. <laughs> Look at... All those wrinkles that are never there whenever I'm not wearing this foundation. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so that's it, guys. <laughs> I will catch you next time. Bye.